the Meadowlands. It's not just the trotters in the spotlight, a whole raft of competition. The seventh race is up next, and it's a $40,000 invitational and a darn good one, Stan. Well, the way to tell good horses is not as how fast they can go, which it used to be in harness racing, is how much money they can win. And all you have to do to find out about the class of this field is look at the program. Energy Burner is the one horse has won $980,000. Amity Chef, who's a three-year-old taking on older horses, a very tough assignment, has won $564,000. And the rest of them, the Denman, $444,000, Equitable, $337,000, Rambling Storm, $268,000, Embrace Me has won over $600,000, and Dan Garvin, $254,000. And they're ready for action. Energy Burner is 30. Amity Chef is the eight is the eight to five second choice. The Denman is at seven. Equitable is seven to five. Ramblin' Storm is at 30. Embrace Me, 19. And Dan Garvin is four. Seven of them. A real good field for this, the seventh race. Here's Tom Durkin with the call. Thank you, Dave. The three-year-old Amity Chef going against some older horses here. In a rough trip in the Meadowlands place. Let's see what happens. And uh, they're off. Equitable is out fast. Ramblin' Storm is there on the outside. Energy Burner comes away toward the rail. Amity Chef just in behind the leaders now racing fourth. The Denman has come away fifth, followed by Embrace Me and Den Garvin. Around the first turn, Energy Burner and Equitable. They're battling early, and Equitable goes on with it. Energy Burner yields and races second. Ramblin' Storm is third. Up the rail comes Amity Chef now charging hard. Here's the first quarter, 27 and three into the back stretch. The leader is Equitable. Bike two lengths and Amity Chef is charging after the lead on the outside. John Campbell puts Amity Chef on the lead with a quick brush. And Equitable now yields and races second. Energy Burner is racing third, followed by Ramblin' Storm fourth, then the Den Den Denman, followed by Embrace Me and Dan Garvin is the trailer. Up the back stretch. Amity Chef, the leader. Equitable now second. Energy Burner third. Here's the half mile. 56 flat. Into the final turn, Amity Chef is the leader. Equitable remains in the pocket. Energy Burner third, he's just four lengths off the lead. Ramblin' Storm is next to Denman. Embrace Me launching a bid from the back of the pack. Dan Garvin trails. Midway round the final turn, Amity Chef is moving well on the lead. Equitable still second, Energy Burner third. By the back, it's Embrace Me now. On the move on the outside, up into fourth. Here's the three-quarter mark, 124 flat. And it's still Amity Chef who has drawn away from the field by three and a half lengths. Amity Chef, the leader at the top of the stretch. Equitable is trying to catch him from second now. Energy Burner up for the drive from third toward the inside, Ramblin' Storm. They're inside the final eight. John Campbell with Amity Chef. They lead by two and a half lengths now. Equitable still trying to close in. Equitable is closing ground. Amity Chef clinging to the lead. Equitable, a late surge. Here's the wire, and yes, Amity Chef holds on. The final time was 152 and one. John Amity Campbell Chef, very notches his third victory of the afternoon. The three-year-old beats the older horses. The final time, 152 and one. Amity Chef, who had a rough trip in the Meadowlands pace just uh, three outs ago on the 18th of July, certainly showed his stuff this afternoon. Well, he lost stride, went off stride in his last start at Yonkers in the Kane pace. and. Uh finished third anyway, went a tremendous trip. And today, Campbell had him in high gear. And no sooner did Buddy Gilmore get to the front, uh, going down the backstretch, uh, than uh, out came uh, uh, Campbell and went right on. Uh, I should have said no sooner did Jim Darty get to the front than Campbell came out. He saw Equitable go, and he said, I'm moving now, and took the lead and never was headed. What kind of an accomplishment was it for the three-year-old to beat this class of older horses? It's a major accomplishment, and it establishes Amity Chef as just what he was beforehand. He was fourth-rated in the experimental handicap. He is a top colt, and to beat this class of horse on a mile track with a mile of 152 and one is a major accomplishment. And putting this time into perspective, Perspective. Uh, I see the world record was 151 and three, so this is really just a few ticks away from that. And there's a strong, strong headwind blowing down that stretch. When these horses come down the last uh, 16th is when they start to get tired. That wind right in their face, and you see him holding off Equitable here, and a terrific drive by Campbell, and a great performance for this French chef cult. 
So that was uh, Amity Chef, the number two horse, paying five dollars, three twenty and three forty, even more to show. With number four, Equitable Second, beaten about ahead, returning two eighty and a mirror two eighty to show. With number five, Ramblin' Storm, third at four dollars and eighty cents. Energy Burner was fourth at two four exacta, worth twelve dollars and forty cents. But this was it. There's no heat racing for these horses this afternoon. But what a performance! A great performance, and I'm, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, David. And only one American has won here today on Hamiltonian Day. We're going to have certainly a Scandinavian uh, a winner of the appears. We're going to have a Scandinavian winner of the Hamiltonian and Canadians winning everything else. And continuing the international flavor, Amity Chef is by French Chef.